Yo, what is up everybody? All right, so today I have a tutorial on how to make your own custom crosshair for Arsenal or whatever ever, you know, game that you might want to uh, make a custom crosshair for. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is to pull up a browser and go to this website. It is called Custom Desktop Logo. Um, I will have it in the description below uh, so you can get to it easily. And you are going to click on the download. And this is just a really simple program. All it does is it creates an overlay image uh, that goes on your screen. That, that is it, that is it. There is nothing spectacular about it. Uh, the next thing you're gonna do is extract that zip file. I extracted it on my desktop. And when you open it, you are going to see it has these four little things. The first one you wanna do is go into system and then go into images. This is where it houses all the different images. It comes with some already pre-installed like Google, uh, like Fox, like ESPN, like all these little things that maybe you might wanna have um, if you are recording a video, I'm sure, but I have absolutely zero need for any of these. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of them. Delete, okay? So the next thing that you are going to do is create folders to house your crosshairs in so it is one crosshair image per folder all right so name your folder something specific you can be as generic as crosshair one and then do like crosshair two but um I'm, i made a couple others like pink dot like toast because those are more specific i can i know exactly what that crosshair is going to be in that image folder all right so to create an image just pull up the program that you use uh, set it to 46 pixels by 46 pixels. I did at 72 resolution because you don't need it to be anything um, massively big or anything huge. Um, I created a couple of um, images like the burnt toast, just a regular crosshair, and then I did a combo one with the pink dot. Um, and then you're gonna save it. So um, I think I saved my combo one here in just this generic crosshair one folder. I probably renamed that crosshair folder to like combo or something later. But uh, make sure you give it a, a useful name so you know exactly what that crosshair is. So for me, I'm just gonna name it combo underscore crosshair. And then I need to change it to a .png extension. All right, don't do a JPEG because that'll create like a white background. You don't want it, you wanna be transparent and a PNG will do that for you. So then next is you're going to click on the .exe file, which is the custom desktop logo. That is the actual program. When you double click on that, it is going to bring up a default image. Uh, you can go down onto your lower right and you'll see that little green dot. Okay, so since I deleted all the images, I get the question marks, right? Because it doesn't know where the folder is. So you just right click on that green dot, go to settings, and then change image folder. All right, so now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my crosshair one folder. And uh, when I do that, it, you can see down there in the bottom right hand corner, there's the crosshair that I created. Obviously, it's not in the place I want it to be. So if you go to location tab, you can click on center. Now this is um, may not be the exact location of your arsenal crosshair. So um, in order to get it correct, we have to actually bring up arsenal and, um, and line it up. And it gives us these little X and Y coordinates at the very bottom where it says location offset. So we're going to uh, fix this up. Okay, so here we are in Arsenal. We actually have to deploy uh, to see the crosshair. Okay, so we can see that it is off, definitely. It looks like it's off on the Y axis. So if we go down into location offset, uh, we will change that number. And this is largely depends on if you are our full screen player or if you still have like your taskbar at the bottom, like it's gonna change. So, um, so the coordinates that I type in may not work for you. Uh, so just, uh, just do the best that you possibly can to line it up. All right, and for me, it was negative one and negative one. It looks like X, it looks like the, you know, the X is like, um, it's not quite center. Like even when I do zero or negative one, it's just still not exact. But I believe that it is 
close enough. So here we are trying out our custom crosshair and I can see it pretty well. I can see it better than I can the default Arsenal crosshairs. Um, and you can either choose to change like the crosshair in Arsenal to a color to match. Like I could change this to lime green and it would like match all the way across. But I really particularly, I like playing with a black crosshair um, default. So here I changed my crosshair to bur the burnt toast image that you guys saw um, just to have some fun. You guys can choose um, any kind of image to place uh, for your crosshair and it can be kind of fun. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys have some fun with it and can create some really good ones. I will put some uh, crosshairs in um, in a specific folder on my Discord, so that way you guys can, uh, if you guys don't have a program that you can create a custom crosshair with, you can download some of these that I use in this video and have some fun with it. So until then, I will see you guys in the next vid.